Hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to install Java in Windows 10. All right, right off the top there, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use a browser. We're going to go to java.com. It doesn't matter what, what browser you use, but we're going to go to the website and we're going to download it. My preference is to use Google Chrome. Uh, I note that I have a uh, video on installing Google Chrome if you want to go check that out. It's in my, uh, my videos. So I'm going to double click on this to open my browser. I'm going to go to www.java.com. Give that just a second. I'm going to click on download Java. That's a left click. I'm going to left click download Java again. And that's going to start the download for Java. All right. Looks like this is going to take a couple of minutes to download. So I'm going to pause this video and come back here in just a second. And then we'll get on with the installation. All right. Our download is just about finished looking good all right it's done as usual and as i always say uh i can left click on it i can launch it from here uh if you downloaded it and you're not sure it went uh pretty much every browser automatically downloads into this downloads folder here so you can click on it and then here we go this is the last uh java installer i downloaded or this is the most recent one i've downloaded anyway so i'm going to double click on that and launch it right, let's minimize this get this out of the way all right, this popped up right here. I'm going to go ahead and left click and select yes. I'm going to go ahead and left click on install. Actually, I said remove right there, but I don't have Java on here, which is a little bit odd. Uh, I guess sometimes these launchers and, and there's sometimes these installers do have problems, but I've never had a problem just installing it over itself and updating it. So whether it's picking itself up or not, it should be fine just to go ahead and install it. So I'm going to go ahead and run this install. And then I went on and I went to check to see if there was still an online uh, launcher that you could use to kind of bounce the uh, Java off of to make sure it was working. But I guess that's down. So I have an alternate way I'm going to use right now to do it. And that is... Okay, it does say it's successfully installed, so that's good right there. But a way I can check and make sure that it's kind of integrated with the UI is I have another program that I downloaded before for another project called Optifine, and I have to right-click on it and then open it with the Java Runtime Environment for it to work. And sure enough, there it is, Java Platform SC Binary, and it let me install so I can confirm that Java is indeed installed and working on this computer. As usual, if you guys have any problems or anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Or sorry, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Uh, further than that, have a great rest of the day.